Okay, I am way too amused by that, way too amused by it. But if you hadn't guessed, today we are drawing a cow. It's Miss Angela here with Art with Angela. We're on day 109, 109 days. Now we do some easier drawings, we do some harder ones. Last week we did Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and that was pretty hard. So this week we're gonna try something easy. We're gonna do a cow. We're gonna do our crazy mad cow. So uh, our cow won't look quite as crazy as this one but let's pick up your pens and pencils your crayons your colored pencils whatever you got and let's draw i'm going to be laughing the whole time because this cow is something else got to grab my pen here so we got our board let's move it down so you can see it really well i'm kind of a half farmer half cow today i don't know i've just just i had my little cow like stuffed animal i thought i love this guy we're gonna draw a cow today all right so let's draw his body we're gonna do his head over here and then we'll do his body back here. So we're gonna see him kind of from the side. So let's go ahead and let's draw, hmm, let's draw like an egg shape. We start out, that's a lot of our shapes are egg shape. Now I'm gonna kind of stop right there because we're gonna put some horns on him. So since I have a marker, I don't wanna draw through my horns. So let's go ahead and put, let's boot about halfway, maybe a little less than halfway. We're gonna make a curve just like that. And that's gonna be the bottom part of his face. I just drew on my own finger. And then we'll give him some of his nostrils. We'll just go ahead and color them in. And so we got those on his eyes, those are his nose. And so we're gonna make his eyes over here, just a little farther over, but let's make them more round. And then we'll make another one right there. All right, we got it. Now, let's go ahead and give him some ears. That way I can put in these horns and everything. Um, you're going to make them kind of, oh, Kind of like that, kind of big, almost like it's, I don't, it's kind of like a cat ear or a pig ear, kind of like that. Make them big like that. And then I'm going to go over to the other side and I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then let's go to the point and bring it down and go to the point and bring another ear down. So inside of here we'll have the pink and the rest of it will be cow color. Now, I didn't add these, I didn't connect them to the top because we're going to give him a couple horns. See, my little cow has horns too. So oh, I'm going to put a bottom on them like that. They're just going to go right up and make a cute little horn. And then we're going to go over to this side, do a little curved bottom, go up, make a little horn. And now we can connect his head there. So we'll go right like that. Now, if you had a pencil, you could have just drawn the line and then gone in and erased. But like I said, since I have marker, it's a little different. Now let's make his body. We're going to make it simple. Remember, this is a simple drawing today for our beginner drawers. So. We're going to make kind of an egg shape here. So let's go ahead and make a big egg shape right around there and come right in. Kind of looks a little bit like a pig, but his spots are going to make him look more like a cow. We're just going to give him a big chunky leg here. Because this is a cartoon. And then we'll give him a little, the bottom of his hoof. And let's give him another big leg right here. Maybe we'll even work it up to the back of his body there. And another hoof. I think he needs a cow tail, Whoop. just like that, and then we'll give him some fuzz at the end of it. Kind of looks like flames, doesn't it? And then, oh, we got to have his udder. His udder is where the milk comes out of, so we'll just make a little pink mark here, and that's where his belly is, okay? Now, we are going to go ahead and give our cow some spots. I'm going to go ahead and give them to him now. Now, you can have fun with the spots. They could be any place you want. I'm going to make one spot there. It kind of looks like it's going to go around the edge of the cow. And I'm going to color it in. I'm going to make mine, I think I'll make it a black and white cow. So I will leave most of my cow white, but I'm going to put some spots. Now maybe I'll make a funny spot there. You can do any kind of color, any kind of shapes you want for these. And we'll color it in. And where else can we do a spot? We need some, we really want him to look like a cow, so we want to make sure we get lots of spots on him. Your cow can have lots and lots of spots, or it doesn't have to have very many spots. It's kind of up to you. But I'm going to have a nice 
spotted cow. And I think I'll have another big one. That's kind of a long one down here. And we'll color it all in. My cow might even have a couple spots on his legs. Just a couple, little tiny ones. Maybe another one right over here. He'll have a little round spot. And maybe he'll have another one right up there that's getting tucked under his body. What do you think, is that enough spots? Does it look like a cow? I think we need a couple of spots on his ears. Maybe one there. See how I draw right up next to the line? I don't have to draw a whole circle. I can draw it right on the edge of the line. So it looks like that spot goes around the corner. And do I want any on his head? Maybe, maybe I'll put a little one here. It's a little spot going in here. I don't want to get too confusing with the eyes, so I'm not going to do too many spots on his head. And then I'm going to put one right there. That one looks like it connects to that one, doesn't it? Okay, I think that's it. Maybe, oh yeah, yeah, I, I just, I will add some grass back here because we want our cow to be in the pasture eating some grass. There we go. Now, we're not going to color the cow in a whole lot. We're going to mainly do the little parts on him. Now, I'm going to go ahead. I got my, all my colors here. And I'm going to make his horn. What color should I make his horn? Maybe just yellow. What do you think? Yellow horns? My horns are brown on mine, but I want to make his horns yellow. I want nice, bright colors. This he's a cartoon. And when you do a cartoon when it's not realistic, you can give him any color you want. I always say you can make him purple if you want a purple cow. All right, I'm going to use pink, and I'm going to use pink down here on his face. I'm going to color all that in. That's the big front of his nose. I was going to wear my pig nose because I thought, well, cows have a big pink part of a pink part of their face, but I didn't want to get confusing because I'm half farmer, half cow right now as it is. All righty. So are you having fun? Are you still coloring every day with me? Drawing every day? Well, not every day. Every Friday? It's a... Uh, funny not drawing every single day anymore. It's kind of like I almost forget Fridays. I'm going, oh my gosh, it's Friday. I got to draw with everybody. Now I haven't decided what we're going to draw next week. So I guess that's just going to have to be a surprise for you because I'm, I'm thinking about it. Like I said, I saw that cow and I knew I wanted to do a cow. Now we're going to do the inside of our cow's ears, pink. And I'll do the other inside of this ear, pink. There we go, and we need, oh, we gotta get his udder. That's where the milk comes out of, where we get all our delicious milk. Milk is my very, not that you need to know, but milk is my very favorite thing to drink. Oh my gosh, chocolate milk. I take a glass of chocolate milk over anything, and I'm not even joking. People that know me know how much I love milk. All right, now as I'm drawing, I kind of forgot something, so I'm gonna put this down for a second, and I'm gonna fill in the bottom of my hooks. They could be pink, but for the most part, they're usually black. So, so you could have a brown cow. Oh, you could have a purple cow. You could have a green cow if you really wanted to. Any color. When you're an artist, you can do anything you want. And all of you have become wonderful artists. All righty. So my, my mark is very squeaky. What do you think? I can hear it squeaking. All right. Whew, that's a lot of work. All right. Now, we are going to do, we're going to do the sky. So I am going to put this down here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm unwrapping mine so I can do use it sideways. So uh, I forgot something again. Can you believe it? I'm very forgetful today. Now up here, I forgot to make his top at the end of his tail black. I should have looked at it more before I, I got so excited to color the colors. I kind of forgot about this. And I'm even gonna, why I'm here, I'm gonna make his tail have a couple spots on it. So you can always go back and fix things if you forget it, because I seem to be forgetting a lot of the black today. All right, now I'm gonna take my, my blue, 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 and I'm going to color my sky all blue. Now you can get creative. You can put clouds in here. You can put a sun in here. You can put anything in here you want. You could have a rainbow behind your, behind your cow. You get creative and do what you want to. You could have it raining. You could have rain coming down. You could be a sunny day. It could be whatever kind of day. It could be a sunset. This cow could be still out at nighttime forgetting to come back to the barn. 
All righty, there we go. Oh, I like that. I like colorful pictures. Did you know that? After 110 days, I think you must know that I like colorful pictures. Okay, now I am going to do green on the bottom. Now I'm gonna put my box over here so it's not in the way. And I might even move my marker. And then I'm gonna do green grass. Now, do I wanna do it the same way? Sometimes I peel my crayons or I peel my pastels so I have the whole, I can use the whole thing. But if you're using somebody else's crayons, you better ask them if it's okay before you do that to them because then they're, they're naked. So, all right, I'm gonna do green in here. And I'm being a little sloppy, but that's okay. Oh, I love our little cow. I think he's cute. And this is a pretty easy one. So if you're a beginner at drawing, this one is kind of a nice, easy one for you to do. And if you've been drawing along with me and you're getting pretty darn good at drawing, then this is just an easy day for you. You could just kind of draw this cow and you'll be done before you know it. And like I said, when you're an artist, you can add more stuff to it. You don't have to do just what I do. You can have flowers in this field. You can have a cornfield back here. We have also done trees in the background. You can add whatever you want to. But I am just keeping it simple for the teaching part. So anybody that's new will be able to do this cow just like this. Okay, boys and girls, this was day 109. So it's 110 next Friday. So I will see you then. I'm not sure what we're doing. I'll have to think about it a little bit. And whatever. Do what I tell you every single time I talk to you. I want you to be safe. I want you to be kind to each other. And I want you to stay creative. And sometimes just be silly. Because silly is a lot of fun.